Have you ever been in the middle of rounding a corner, leaning the bike into the corner and you wonder in the back of your mind, how close am I getting to the edge of my traction? Or how about this one? Was that a bump I just felt or did the tire slip a little on the pavement? This week on MC Rider, we'll talk about cornering traction. And you'll learn a little something that'll probably ease your mind the next time you're out for a ride. First of all, let's define traction. Traction in its simplest form is the amount of grip that your tires have on the road. Now traction is affected by a whole lot of things. The condition of the tires, the age of the tires, the compound that the tires are made of. A softer tire is going to have more traction than a harder tire will. The weight that's being placed on the tires will have an impact on the traction. So. I don't have a big gut. I've got a traction enhancer around my waist, but the more weight on the tire is gonna provide more traction for that tire as well. Other things that are gonna affect it are the condition of the pavement that you're riding on. Different types of pavement are gonna have different levels of traction. And whether that pavement is dry or wet is gonna have some impact on your traction as well. For the purpose of this video, we'll talk about traction in optimal conditions. So your tires are in good shape, they're properly inflated, your bike's in good shape, and the road that you're riding on is in good condition as well. If we looked at a close-up of concrete or pavement that you ride on, you'll notice that it's not flat. And if you run your hand over it, you can feel those little bumps and ridges all through the concrete. And those bumps or ridges are what helps make your traction because your tires are made of rubber and that rubber flexes around those bumps or those grooves in the traction, your tires come in and it fills up those gaps and that locks the tire to the pavement, creating traction for your motorcycle and help it keeping you upright through corners. But the question on a lot of people's mind is how well do your tires lock into that pavement? Well, the standard here in the US is about one to 1. G's of lateral force your tires will maintain traction on pavement. So that means if you're rounding a corner, it's gonna take one to 1.1 G's of force, of lateral force, before your tires begin to lose traction with that pavement. On a motorcycle, it takes about 45 degrees of angle to make one G of lateral force. On a Harley Davidson, at about 32 to 34 degrees of angle, the hard parts start hitting the surface of the road. And at 35 degrees, there's enough metal meeting the pavement that it actually lifts the rear tire off the ground, causing a loss of traction. So on a cruiser, you're going to run out of lean angle before you ever run out of traction. Now on a sport bike, you can get to that 45 degrees without any hard parts scraping the pavement. So on a sport bike, you've got to be a little more cautious of your lean angle. But on a cruiser, you're going to run out of lean angle before you ever run out of traction. Yeah, but you might say, well, what about speed? You know, surely there's a difference if I go around a corner at 50 miles per hour as opposed to going around a corner at 15 miles per hour. It's got to be, you know, put more G-force, lateral force on the pavement going at a faster rate of speed. Well, no, it's actually the same. Your cornering radius won't be as sharp. It'll take longer to get through that corner because you're going faster. But if you maintain within that 45 degrees angle, you're still going to be less than 1G as you go around that corner, which means you're going to maintain traction with the road. But what about when conditions aren't ideal? What about when that rain starts to come down? How much traction do you have then going around the corner? Well, the first 10 to 15 minutes of rain, we all know that that lifts the dirt and that oil and stuff comes up off the pavement and all of that affects your traction. So the first 10 or 15 minutes, it can get pretty slick out there. But after that period of time, all the goop and junk is generally washed off the road. And then all you're dealing with is the pavement and the water on the pavement. And how much traction do you have in those conditions? Well, the answer to that question may actually surprise you a little bit. Remember on dry, good pavement, where you've got about one to 1.1 G's of lateral force or traction going through that corner, on wet pavement, we actually have about 0.9.
So we lose a little bit, but we don't lose nearly as much as what a lot of people think. And that's why if you go back and watch my tips on riding in the rain, one of the biggest things that I recommended in there was just to relax because it's honestly more of a mental thing than it is a physical thing. And you've got a whole lot more traction on wet pavement than what you may think or what you hear from other riders. So on dry pavement, 1 to 1.1 Gs of lateral force. On wet pavement, after all the goop is washed off of the road, we're talking about 0.9 Gs of lateral force. So to sum this up on a Harley Davidson and a lot of other heavy cruisers for that fact, they've got about 32 to 34 degrees of lean angle going through a corner. And at that lean angle, you're putting out about 0.6 Gs. Now that's well within the limit of the 1 to 1.1 G of lateral force and still well within the limit of the 0.9 Gs on a wet surface. So on a cruiser, you've got a lot of room to play with and your speed does not affect your traction as you go through that corner as well. So that knowledge is nice to have the next time you go around a corner, you realize that that tire still has a whole lot of traction left over as long as you don't do something to mess up the traction or to affect the traction. So what kind of things can you do to mess up the traction? Well, if you grab the brakes as you go around the corner or you're chopping the throttle, all of those things have an effect on your traction. Remember at MC Rider, we teach that slow look, press and roll technique. So prior to the corner, you're gonna slow down, you're gonna look through the corner, gonna press on the hand grip, you're gonna roll on the throttle. All of that keeps your motorcycle nice and balanced through the corner and gives you all of that traction that you need to get through the corner. If you do things to mess it up by grabbing the brakes or something mid corner, that can have an impact on your traction. If you don't maintain your tires in good physical condition, keep new tires on there when your old ones have worn out or keep your tires properly inflated, that's going to have an impact on your traction as well. So how does the knowledge of this affect your confidence in going through a corner? Have you ever been mid corner and you felt that little wiggle in the tire or something and you thought that your tires were possibly losing traction? How can this knowledge increase your confidence in going through a corner? I'd love for to hear what you guys think by leaving a comment below. So until next week, guys, it's Kevin with MC Rider, and we'll see you on the road. MC Rider is supported by our friends on Patreon. To learn how to support MC Rider and get access to the field guide, go to mcrider.com support.